This is a door alarm sensor. Let me show you how it works. When I open the door, you get the LED indicator, but also it is sending you an email letting you know that the door has been opened. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make it. First, let's take a look at what we have here. We have an ESP32 using a reed sensor or a magnet sensor here on the side. And you can see these magnets. So when these magnets get further away, the ESP32 will read that and notify you using an email. Obviously, you can add a buzzer if you want. Right now, I just have an LED indicator. So when I open the door, that LED switch on and it will send an email. It will turn off after one minute because it needs to send the email and then reset everything. And then it will turn off the LED after I close the door. This is just the power cable. And I 3D printed this case, which is uh, has a magnet bag. That way I can just stick it over here using the magnet from the back. Uh, if you don't have a, a metal frame or you don't want to use the magnet because they could have some interference with the magnet sensor, then you can just use a piece of tape or however you like to stick it on the door. You just need the magnet on one side and the board on the other side and then find out how you can power this on. Um, let me go take you to the PC so I can show you the code and I'm gonna take this apart to show you how I assembled it. Before I give you the code, let's take a look at how I assembled this. I'm gonna take away the magnet. That's gonna send me one more email. Already got so many emails for this uh, video. Let me unplug this to power it off. And I wanted to make it as tiny as possible so the magnet can hold easily because I only put the magnet on one side because I do not want them to be interfering with the read switch over here. Let me uh, pull this case out. And it's a little bit tricky. You have to give it a bit of a spin. So when, when you take this out, you kind of want to do like this. And then you take this side first and then we will pull it out like that. This is the uh, magnet sensor over here or the read switch. It, this one just got broken because I pulled it apart. So, but let me show you how I put this together. Um, I want it to be as tiny as possible. So I did solder these two wires over here. I'm using pin four and the ground pin. And then I also soldered the other end to the magnet or the read switch. Let me show you how I slide the read switch in there. So for the read switch, actually, let me get a new one. That way I can show you how I would put the read switch in okay, there. Okay, so here's a new read switch and let me show you how I did it. I'm not going to share this case with you just because I'm not very happy with it. But again, I just wanted to make it tiny. This will work for me, but you might wanna have to design your own case. The way I did this, um, I did bend one of the sides. So I'm going to bend this side first. Then I did make a hole in here in the 3D printing design. I will bend this a little bit here and then we will go in there like that and then boom. There you go. And then when, when it's in there, now we bend the other side and here is the read switch already in. It's kind of over here and I made this whole cutout for that read switch. Now we are here at the PC. Uh, let me show you one of those email notification. You see, I've got plenty of them uh, just because I've been recording this video. And uh, you can see here that this is the uh, door open alert. You can make any subject you like. This is the email you're sending from. I'm using a Gmail address, which I will uh, give you the code that way you can set that up for yourself. And this is sending to my email address in the body of the email. The door has been opened. You can obviously type anything. Now let's take a look at the code and show you how that is working. One last thing really quick before I go over the code, quick disclaimer, this video is for entertainment and education purposes only, and I'm not recommending to use this method as the only way to protect your house. Thank you for understanding. 
Finally, let's take a look at the code. I'm not gonna go in real deep details here because I will copy this and make it available uh, on my GitHub repository for free as always. But let's take a quick look here. We have the libraries, one for the Wi-Fi, one for the mail client. This is your uh, password and username for the router for your Wi-Fi because the ESP32 does need uh, an internet connection. That's how it uses the email to send you the email notification. Uh, over here is the email configuration or credentials. I'm using a Gmail account. You can use a different account. You might have to adjust a few things, but if you're using a Gmail, then you would put your email over here. Uh, you can add this as an application. So it would generate an app password. That way you don't have to use the same password as your real email address. This is a topic for a different video. If you're interested, let me know and I'm happy to make that video in the future. This is the recipient email address over here. And these are down here is the pins. So this is the sensor pin. I'm using pin four and the LED pin. I'm using pin two. This bool variable to stat to track the door status. So I'm setting it to false to start with, assuming the door is closed as a starting point. This is the function that sends the email is just using the same email configuration mentioned above. This is the email subject body and all that stuff. Uh, I'm going to scroll down here. This is just the serial monitor initialization. And here we have the pin mode. Obviously for the sensor, it is an input and for the LED, it's an output. Uh, down here, just stuff to the serial monitor. All the serial monitor stuff is more mostly for troubleshooting. So if you're having a problem, this should help. Um, this is for the Wi-Fi connection status, and you need some delay to allow the board to connect to Wi-Fi, another delay for it to send the email. Uh, so you don't want to be like constantly checking. I have a very small delay here for the purpose of the video, but if I'm using this in like a production real life, I definitely going to increase that delay by a little bit more. Um, this is the loop function here. We are checking the sensor value and the uh, setting the bool door open uh, based on that. And then also we are uh, printing this notification to the serial monitor here, depends on the status. And, and the, the LED is being controlled to be you know turned on and off based on the door status as well. Uh, again, another delay here at the uh, bottom just to allow for everything to settle in. Um, I will copy this and make it available on my GitHub. I'll leave a link in the description. If you have any questions or uh, comments, please leave them in the comment section below. If you like what you see and uh, like this video and subscribe, this is it for this one. And I hope to see you in the next one.